Okay. Hi everybody. Hi Antoine. Hi, How Mark. are you today? Good. Very good. good. Yes. Um, so we've been for the last two days uh, in Manico, the Formula One circuit in France, and we've been uh, testing um, in a wind tunnel and looking at your body in the wind. How was it? Yeah, it was a, it was a great experience because uh, it was the first time that a uh, windsurfer could uh, access to the wind tunnel. And uh, we went to this uh, wind tunnel there in, uh, in Manicour, not too big, so we couldn't put the sails, but we actually worked a lot on the aerodynamic of the rider uh, to see how much drag we, we have and uh, how we can uh, make it much better. So it was really interesting to see that uh, actually the, the, the body of, of a windsurfer is a, is a lot of drag. So it's a lot. It's, it's even a, a disaster. It's even a disaster, especially when you wear the, yes. the weight jacket with all the, the protection uh, and flotation uh, things. So we didn't expect that. No, we didn't expect expect it a little much. bit, but not that much. And we could see that is a is really a, a big problem that we're gonna try to solve with. A, uh, things like apathies that we, we're going to put uh, first on the, on the head and then on the arms and the body. So we're going to try to work a lot on, on this. So we've been measuring the drag on you, the forces of the wind on you. Uh, we've been looking at uh, some visualization with uh, some smoke and some like very special uh, fluorescent uh, yes. particles. Yes. So that was very impressive. Um, very impressive. Um, so we've been able to, to look at the flow around you and it's highly disturbed and that will make it quite difficult to create something. Yes, uh, it was really interesting to see the, the little smoke that they, they, they put on you. So they, they can move it quite easy to go on the face, on the body, on the legs, on the arms. And, uh, and you can see as well that uh, the boom is dragging a little bit. So what, yeah, it was, it was just amazing to do this. So the next step is uh, here in Paris for the next wind tunnels. We're going to be in two different wind tunnels. The first one today with some height. So we will be able to put a sail with you, a piece of sail with you. So we see the interaction between you and the sail. So that's the next step where you will be more in condition, I would say. Yeah, the, uh, the first wind tunnel, we couldn't put the sail because it was uh, a little bit too low. That uh, was about the just ceiling. about you yes. and the yeah. pilot. And in here, we, we have a little bit more height. So we're going to we cut the sail, actually, and we're going to see uh, the interaction between the sail and the, and the rider to see if this fit together or if it changed the, um, the wind flow. So it's going to be really interesting as well to, to see that. So in this next step, we're going to use what we've done for the first two days and apply it with this piece of sail. Yes. And tomorrow we'll be in the third wind tunnel yeah. where you will have a full sail yeah. and do some maneuvering in the wind and measuring the sail. And uh, that, that will be something. But tomorrow we're going to put the full sail, that full size uh, kind of, uh, I think we can put until eight meters or something yeah. like this. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, uh, if you push a little bit the limit, how the cell will move, if it moves good, or what we can change actually on the cell. So it's going to be really interesting for the cell designer yeah. as well to see that. And, uh, and for maybe the dynamics, that's the dynamics. Yeah, for the dynamics. See how it moves. Yes, and and then maybe try to do some uh, maneuverability stuff, or we're going to see <laughs> if we can do or not. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, see you. Thank Stay you guys. Tuned. Talk to you soon.